All right, welcome back. If you haven't seen the previous two videos where we learn how to write and authenticate with Notion, definitely check those out. In this video, we're gonna learn how to read from the Notion APIs. We're gonna be creating this structure, all right? So we're gonna have a list of objects that specify the text, the type, and the ID of your Notion blocks. So let's go ahead and jump right in. Let's start our five minute timer. I'm gonna drop in a new function that's basically going to write a dict to a file. So we're gonna be able to easily see what's going on with our content by writing it to a JSON file. So just adding that function there. And now let's go ahead and stub out a couple methods. All right, so let's create read text and GitHub Copilot is gonna help me out here. So we're gonna read text. We're gonna take a client and a page ID and this is going to fetch the content from the Notion API. So let's return response results all right so that's client blocks children list pass in your block id which in this case will be the page id and we're going to parse the response create simple blocks from content all right we'll pass in our client um and we'll pass in our content all right and so what we're going to do here is say simple blocks we'll call this page simple blocks and we're going to create a new object for now we'll just return that at the top for block in content, we're going to uh, create a simple block object. We'll fill in the items in a second here. Um, and what we're gonna do is say, let's get our block ID. Perfect, let's get our block type. Let's get our block, um, let's see, we'll say it has children. Perfect, we'll just call this rich text. Not exactly what we want here. Let's change this out a little bit. Call this block type. Let's go ahead and say, if not rich text. So if we don't have any text, we're just gonna go ahead and return. And I'm gonna update this. This is actually gonna be a rich text. And let's quick take a break here and hop into the documentation so I can show you guys exactly where I'm getting all this from. So if you go to the Notion developer API, hit API reference and hit retrieve block children. You can see here, it takes a block ID just like our function did and in the examples, you can see here that it returns results with the individual Notion formatted um, items. So, you know, right now I'm parsing through the type and the rich text so that we can get our content. So let's go ahead and hop back into our method and keep building. So, perfect. So after we know if we have rich text or not, we can start creating our block content. Now let's go ahead and recurse. If we have nested items like this, Notion won't pick this nested item up. So we need to check if we, if has children. And if we do have children, what we're gonna do is get the nested children. And we're gonna set that equal to read text, just like we did to get this initial page. And then we're going to get our simple block children and set that equal to um, a recurse call on this function. If that doesn't make sense, don't worry about it too much. Basically, we're just populating the children of this block because it has children, all right? After that, we're going to run our append call on our blocks and add our simple block to that and proceed from there. So let's go ahead and update our main function. It's gonna get our content equals read text. Then let's go ahead and write to a file. And then let's go ahead and get our simple blocks and let's write that to a file, perfect. Absolutely love GitHub Copilot here. And let's just go ahead and run this to see if we made any mistakes. Bam, let's check our content. We'll format this file and you can see it's in the format, uh, just like over here in the Notion initial response. So that's perfect. And now the moment of truth, let's see if we can look at our simple blocks. Awesome, fantastic. So as you can see guys, this is our final Notion response. Uh, we've parsed out the ID of the block, the type and the text. And if you look over here at our Notion page, you can see we have the items perfectly aligned with our actual Notion page content. So we have the tutorials, we have the auth, we have the root item, and that's gonna be it, guys. Uh, if any of this was like kind of complicated, you know, stop the video at any point. I'm gonna have all the links in the description. It's gonna be there to help you out. Really appreciate you guys watching these videos. If any of this was confusing, or you got stuck anywhere, drop a comment down below. If this helped you get up and running super fast, definitely, definitely like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot. We just hit 100 subs, so I'm super excited to get to the next 
milestones two, three, five, one thousand. So I hope this helped you guys out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.